an old adventure. We're in metal detecting. Tell them folks, good morning, good morning. Going out on a little adventure. We're heading out to Skinning Grove. Skinning Grove is a place where we get crashed at Christmas. Me and Stuart as a vicar and a bottle of beer. If you don't know, get on previous channels, New Year's Eve gate crash, see what we got up to. So, um, bit of time off, bit of free time. I thought I'd head to the seaside and maybe do a bit of metal detecting. Let's see how we get on there, folks. I'm looking for something nice to eat, folks, to go with my tea tonight. Let's have an hunt. £2.90, folks, for 40 cakes, £2.90. What are we getting, folks? What are we getting? Chocolate, chocolate everywhere. Sunshine folks. Absolutely epic. Don't you just look playing out? That's it folks, we're nearly at Skinning Grove. What a lovely day to be played out. So I brought my metal detector with me. I'm going to be doing a bit of metal detecting. So if my directions are shut up. <laughs> Sit without the seaside box. Just pulling in Skinning Grove. So tide went out about 8.30ish. It should be well down by now, so should get a good four or five hours a bit of detecting in. Um, what I'll do also is uh, we've got a little treat planned for tomorrow. And here we are folks, to the beautiful Skinning Grove. See if we can get a nice little park up in that corner like normal. We're looking like, oh look, someone saved me a space right there guys, look. Ooh, slow your dogs down, dopey. Right guys, it's time to get ready. Uh, get my metal detector out, get my boots on, get dressed. It's not so cold out there, um, so I'm going to wear my snood because it keeps that lovely little bit of wind out the back of my neck. And I'll put another hat on, get changed folks. I'll see you out there somewhere. Right folks, I'm nearly ready to roll with some gluten free chocolate cake there. Bit of coffee in my bag. So we're taking us bag Bob. We're going to have a coffee on beach halfway through a bit of metal detecting. My metal detector's there. Let's go see if we can find some treasure, folks. What an absolutely stunning day, folks. So, nice journey here, not too bad on roads. Um, Stuart's not with me this weekend. He's going out to celebrate a friend's birthday on Saturday night. He might meet up with me late on Saturday, depending on where I am. But for today, I'm up at Skinning Grove. I'm not, I don't do this beach, beach, I don't think it's worth doing. So I'm going on that way. Uh, you've seen where we've been before. I'm gonna go through the gap on the pier and I'll detect the other beach there and see what we can come up with, folks. Wish me luck. So I'm gonna have to keep it short to these uh, videos so my batteries don't go cold. Quite windy in this little tunnely bit. I'm hoping that the wind sucks doing it good. Plenty of beach to whack on. Let's get on with it, folks. Only problem is, if you walk where that little red thing is there, it's an eight foot drop down there. You've got to come this side. Right, 
Right, let's get on it, folks. I'll bring you back in a minute. We're not getting many signals, folks, yet. But let's see what this is. It is. A bit of steel with a number on it. Nice little pillbox there, folks. Fallen off the hill, obviously. Let's have a little look around. It's got one hole down there. One underneath that end, no doubt. Let's go have a look inside, eh? I've not found much yet detecting summit down here, but I reckon it's some big kind of piece of steel or something because it's massive. It's taller than me, so I'm going to move on a little bit. So there we go, folks. First coin out. Look at the state of it. So these haven't been found for ages, so I'm staying on this bit, folks. I'll let you see where I am. So the tide's taken all of the sand right down. As you can see, there's a bit of a level up here to my left, to my right. So I'm staying on these rock pools and I've got plenty of it to do. So let's get on folks. First coin, get in there, 50p. Good old Lizzie the second. Cheers Lizzie. It's about one o'clock folks already. I think it's time I got this kettle on, don't you? That'll do it. Right, whack a bit of kindling in the top. Let's get that kettle on, folks. See you in a minute. Look at that, folks. Lovely steaming coffee. See, coming back in in the background slowly. Banging bit of cake. It's got secret ingredients in that, because it's gluten free. Lovely. Right, folks. I've been out for about three hours and found next to nothing. Um, what I will say about this beach is it's lovely and clean. This is very next. Oh, that's what that was. A load of rubbish. <laughs> yeah, so like I say, folks, it's really clean here. There's a little bit of metal in the floor, but there's hardly any rubbish. Yeah, that's what that was. This must be one of the cleanest beaches I've been on in my lifetime. Which is kind of enjoyable because you can walk for ages without getting a beep. Be more enjoyable if I found a gold ring, maybe a gold chain. But I've been out here about four hours now, folks. I can feel wind biting up back of my neck and back of my head so I'm slowly heading back to the van I don't think I'll find any treasure if I do I'll bring you back folks now yeah. then folks we're back in van we're back in van um um yeah so I found 150p folks 150p um not bad for a, a what is it a little bit of time out um so, uh, like I say, cleanest beach I've ever been on is this. I'm going to go for a little bit of a walk. Now then, folks, it's getting really bloody chilly, so I'm really warmed up in it. Just pull them down over my lugs. We're going for a walk. Uh, under the... Uh, we'll go over the bridge behind us. Behind you, even. And then where we're going is we're going to... Right. We're going to walk on the rocky foreshore. See you in a minute, folks. We're going 
over there. So this is start at Cleveland Way in this area. Cleveland Way goes over top of hill. So for those that watch my channel regular, um, you'll know this area. Like I say, we've been here a few times, we absolutely love it, so that's why we keep coming back. I thought it'd be a good idea to get out on the beach with my metal detector, um, because not many people know of the area, I thought, yeah, that'll be ace, I'll find loads. Because nobody comes to the area right much, there's no in sand. <laughs> A 50p, two parts of a tin can. That was about it, yet, really. A couple of little bits of alley scrap. So, yeah, we're going around this corner, folks. We're not going up the hill. If you have a look up top of the hill, you see somebody coming down the Cleveland Way. Just where he is, that's as far as I got when I took my picture, folks. I shit my pants. We're on to Pebbly Beach, folks. Look at these big beauties. Ooh, watch your ankles, mate. Watch your ankles. It's a long drive back with a dodgy ankle. Oh, look at that, an old kettle. Look, folks. We found an old kettle. That shows no crabs in it. <laughs> look at that bad boy. Been down there some years, hasn't it? See what else we can find. We're going on that way anyway, folks, towards cliffs. Nice motorbike tyre there. Yeah, we're just going on for a little walk, folks. Somewhere different. Look at the cliff face. Look at them up there on that hill. So, yeah, last time I went on that hill, I crapped my pants, folks, and I had to sit down because it's too high. <laughs> I'm a soft ass, really. Look at this floor, guys. It's like crazy paving. It's slippy as well. Ooh. <laughs> eee, it looks lovely. What a beautiful day for a walk. We got out in his rock pool. It'll have hidden anyway, see my big ugly mud coming, won't it? <coughs> so that in front of you folks is what I mean by falling rocks you don't want to get too close to that you can see where it's fallen recently it looks like from that wet patch up there right down there look at all that you know they can come down with some right power so we're going a tiny bit further so folks i've come as far as a dare go really um i just turned camera around in a second you just look in front here you see where it's gray on right hand side closest to me and then it starts to get really slippery out there so i'm not going to bother going any further Let's head back that way before that tide comes in. A washed up Lego brick, folks. Yeehaw! Right folks, you know us men like to brag. Well I'm bragging and I'm bragging good because I've got 10 inches. Have it. <laughs> it's coming on nice is that folks. Nearly done. I suppose it can take lid off now. I don't need that on no more because it don't spit as much. Best thing about Ridge Monkeys. Yeah, they can 
put it on there, that's not too warm. So I'd like to say folks, what I'm going to do tomorrow is um, I'm going to head up to Saltburn on Sea. Take you a look for, around the seaside and stuff, we'll give you a good look round folks, eh? That looks banging, even though it is only a measly omelet. Get a little bit of a wobble. Oops. Where's my spudula? It's under here somewhere. It's a bit thin at this side, guys. Maybe I'm parked on the slope, eh? Who cares? Look at that bad boy. Right folks, I'm up. I'm up because dog has got me up again. <laughs> Who gives a damn? Look at that for the sunrise folks. So it's goodbye Skinning Grove. We're going to Salt Bird on Sea. So let's have it folks. Let's see when I get a bit closer. It's only 10-15 minutes up road. I've just seen Salt Bird over to the left. It looks super lovely, smashing great. <laughs> so we're here folks nearly. Oh, big badger there. Wooden badgers. About two mile out we are. Take you for a little drive, eh? go folks a bit of history on half penny bridge called so because it used to cost half pence for a pedestrian to cross so it used to go off the back of the bandstand right across the valley over there where you're looking so we'll just go have a look at bandstand and then we'll head down onto the beach so there's the bandstand folks and the bridge used to go this way The bridge used to go right over the valley over there. To the back left there we've got a sea view restaurant and there's the pier folks let's go for a walk on the pier so we've got surfside there the toggy the yogi surfs up you can hide a wetsuit from there folks if you want 
just coming up in between this building is the lift to the town centre the cliff lift now I'm not sure if it's running because there were a fire uh, let's go see if we can find out folks because I did want to have a go on that and take you up on it yeah look you can see fire on the door here Sadly on Monday morning a fire broke out in the pump room of the lower station which caused considerable amount of damage. We investigated the cause of the fire and this will take time. So it's not working folks, gutted. So this is how we get up here folks, let's go have a look. that I get left and right ship in over there if you fancy a beer we ain't getting no detecting in here that's for sure guys Quite windy out here and my anxiety is telling me to turn back in case pier collapses because it's a no bad go away <laughs> make sure you stay safe folks stay safe <laughs> fuck me so I'm hoping this wind sock's doing good. We've got about 30 mile an hour winds out here now. And no folks, I'm not looking over end. <laughs> I'll be too fucking scared. But this is absolutely stunning coming out here. It's high tide now or thereabouts. Yeah, slap boards on the side checking I keep thinking it's going to fall down <laughs> so we're nearly at end folks dare I give you a look over edge yeah I'm not looking you can if you want <laughs> right, I'll tell you when I've closed my eyes guys ready three two one, slow down, close my eyes. <laughs> Shit the bed. Look. Oh, I can't even look. I've got my eyes closed. <laughs> oh my god, I felt that shake through fucking bridge. I'm going, I'm going. I felt that shake then folks. So, if you can see the cliff lift, cliff lift in the background. Try to get up here. Oh my god. I'm going wobbly. <laughs> Fuck me guys. Let's get up here quick. <laughs> Run! Stop sticking your fucking love locks places, you tramps. Game of crazy golf, anyone? I'll maybe go to Oscars for fish and chips. Eh?
people have got flood defences on from you say wooden boards. So up there in front of you is Mask on Sea. Go find that tramway. You have to excuse me, folks. Camera keeps freezing. Look at that, man. What a lovely bit of artwork. A saxophone phone. Here we go, folks. Here we go. It's free. It's free. Let's get in there. Shit, that's all you get. Ha 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 ha. That's all you get, folks. Sorry. I think this is top of the tramway now. It's got lovely big iron railings, so I don't feel like I'm going to fall down. Let's check you up in there a bit, folks. So you enter the tram front and back. So you enter at the front if you're coming up and come out the back or other way around folks. If you want to have a read folks, pause the video. So folks, I'm going to head back down to the seafront, we'll go for a walk on the beach before I go home. Don't forget, um, if you'd like to come over to Facebook, um, go on the Wondering Wallys, find us, like us page, follow us group or page or whatever it is, like, follow, whatever you do. Um, what you can do then is you can then message us with a, a location where you think we should visit. There's got to be plenty more out there that we don't know of. So folks, if you'd just like to give us a comment, drop a comment on one of the posts, you get an insight into what we do while we're out. I'll see you on the beach. Here we are folks, we've got sea defence works going on here today, so I'm dragging all the pebbles backwards. You can probably see in front of me the caterpillar tracks, there's a caterpillar truck in front of me. So, last bit of video folks take you on for a little bit of walk under the pier don't forget as Stuart says join us on our adventures and tell your mum it's quite hard walking in this folks I've nearly brought my bloody ankle back there because that way he's dug it all up he's not levelled it off afterwards which I suppose the sea will do that when it comes back in Let's go under that pier, folks. Starting to level off now, that's better. Right, folks see you on the next adventure thanks if you got this far in the video don't forget give us a like give us a sub if you haven't already and we'll see you soon that's it ladies and gents we're out of here like i say going to 
channel gives a sub Into gives a like turn right onto Albion Terrace. don't turn right and don't forget folks most importantly turn right onto Albion Terrace. tell your mum Folks, I'm out of here. See you later.